Hey guys! Today I'm gonna do a video about how I edit my photos on Instagram. I get so many questions about how I edit my photos, which apps I use and everything concerning photos. So I thought it was time for me to do a video about how I do and show you guys. So let's start. So to begin with, the most important thing for me when I take photos is the light. How is the lighting? Is it in your face? Is it in the background? Is it a sunset? Every picture is different. That's why it's so hard for me to tell you guys how I edit my photos because every picture is different. I can talk about how to edit photos forever, but today I'm gonna show you three different pictures and how I edit them. I'm gonna connect my phone to the screen so it should pop up here. I hope it's working. Good. So I use two different apps to edit my photos on my phone. And my favorite is VSCO cam or Wisco cam or how do you say it? So I'm gonna show you three different pictures. This one, this one, and this one. And they're completely different because I wanna show you a little bit of everything because editing pictures is so different from picture to picture. I don't know how many times I said picture in one sentence, but here we go. Let's start with this one. The first thing I do is I pick the filter I want. I just play around and see which ones looks the best. My favorite filters is A5, A6, ACG, C1, HB2. So you just have to see which filter suits the picture. And for this one I would say ACG works the best. And here you can choose if you want like the full opacity of the filter, but I always take it down a bit. I sometimes even go down to like 1, 2, but for this I would say around 7. And when I'm done with that, I go in and then I crop the picture. So for Instagram you can either crop it 1.1 or 4.5. I usually go for 4.5 because I like when they're long. So yeah, crop it. And then I just start playing around with it. Add some contrast. I like contrast. I think it gives a nice feel to the picture. And then maybe some shadow. I like this one. You can change the skin tone either more to the red or more to the green. You can just see the difference, either red or green. So some green. Yeah, I think that's good. You see before and after. I don't edit that much. I just edit a little bit. I change the colors, the contrasts and yeah. Try to do as little as possible. So let's go on to this picture. So I just try the filters that I usually go for and see which ones looks the best. Here I think A6 is the best. Take it down a bit. 10. And then crop it. Cropping it 4 or 5. Maybe make it like this. And sometimes you straighten it, like that. And then I just do it all over again. But it's so different, as I said, from picture to picture. I kind of like that one. And now we go on to this one, a food picture. I think this looks pretty good. A bit more. Crop it. Do I look focused? I am. No, down a bit. There we go. A bit more green. Contrast. This one I'm actually going to edit in uh, another app as well, just to show you guys how you can do it before and after. It's quite the difference. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next. Save. And then we move on to the next app, which is Snapseed. That's good sometimes. I use it sometimes when I need to do something extra. Let's go with this one. And as you can see, there's a little spot here and they have this thing called healing. Now I'm just gonna show you what you can do, but you can do like this. 
and it takes from yeah sometimes it's really bad and sometimes it's really good but I'm gonna do it here you can just brush things away here we go and then you can use this brush and higher the exposure for example I'm gonna paint the, pi the pineapple the watermelon and then maybe give it some more color now I overdo it a bit but just to give you guys to see some more like what you can do with the app so yeah and then you save it save and then we go on to Instagram because I actually use Instagram's filter as well not the filters but the contrasts and everything so let's go with let's take this picture I use this Lux or I don't know what it's called it's some extra contrast even more <laughs> and then I go on to no I go on here contrast from shadow maybe that's a bit too much contrast That's the thing, I just like to play around and see like what you can do with a picture and I can do it for hours. I can sit and edit pictures. I just love it, so I like it. Yeah, so I think this is done. That's how I edit my photos. But I also have to say like, I would say that 60% of my photos on Instagram, they are from my camera that I use, my Nikon and 40% that's with my phone and sometimes I even edit my phone pictures in Lightroom if I feel like the light is not good enough but to save you some time I would say really think about the light when you take a photo because then you don't have to edit it too much it's easier to edit a good light photo or if you take photos of food don't have a lot of things laying around and just make it easier for you to edit as little as possible so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and you at least got to learn something. See you soon!